Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to LearnDevOpsOnline.com and in this particular video, I would like to uh, talk about a different ways of creating Jenkins jobs uh, with uh, how to use the Jenkins core DSL and how to use Jenkins CLI and how to use uh, an Ansible and as well as how to use Stratacom. Though there are multiple other ways as well, uh, however, I just want to pick it up these particular four. Uh, which I I have used uh, mostly and I would like to talk about a little bit pros and cons with these particular themes and we kind of just check some example I will see like what which is the best one which which can work for our real requirements so let's get it started so uh, so to start with by the way so we are going to have uh, uh, Jenkins job DSL and job DSL is the is the native one uh, which has an advantage of nativity uh, it is a jenkins uh, own dsl and uh, it's, it comes up with the own declarative by the way so the minimum piece of code can kind of create the jobs as expected so that's that's basically uh, uh, the jenkins job dsl will do by the way and also like you don't really require an additional soft software to do this because it's completely part of jenkins ecosystem and it is going to come with uh, uh, some sort of plugins by the way you just need to install some seed plugin and all and you can go ahead and run this particular one so which is very straightforward by the way and mostly it will just use some groovy ecosystem in the background so since jenkins use that and it is very good for creating a very simple jobs by the way if your requirement is to create a simple pipeline jobs with automation or simple multi-branch pipelines with or even the freestyle jobs by the way so if you want to create simple simple jobs without there is no complexity then this is a, this is a must go option so it can do the job really uh, really well with with a very minimum effort by the way however so when it comes to the complex jobs like especially like multi-branch pipelines so it has a disadvantage that uh like you know so writing the dsl for multi-branch pipeline where multi-branch pipeline enable certain configuration with some of the third-party plugins it becomes a very much challenge uh, in writing the dsl and of course we end up with like no support for uh, uh, certain complex configurations inside uh, the jenkins job dsl so that can be considered as a a problem with the jenkins job dsl and however like there is also other ways like um, you can do that but you know kind of being a little bit imperative with maybe with some sort of um, a groovy wrapping around it uh, we can do that but it, it it just becomes like imperative way of doing the things rather than the more declarative so the basic idea of making the jobs creating with the declarative will just get rid of that particular option and becomes more uh, imperative in way of doing that particular things and also like on the security base like running directly the groovy code uh, on the jenkins ecosystem is preferably not a great idea because that can potentially um, can damage our Jenkins things as well. Okay, in case if there is something wrong, or if said if there is some mistake on the piece of the code, so that can make our Jenkins a kind of little bit um, uh, so basically like downtime kind of a thing. Or if if it is not done well, by the way, so that's where we have to be a bit cautious about this. So that's about Jenkins job DSL, and um, now let's see the next one, so which is uh, the Jenkins CLI one. So the Jenkins CLI is again natively offered by Jenkins. So the Jenkins command line interface, they'll provide a simple jar file to kind of run it. And while running it, by the way, so you are going to again, like create the jobs again in a native way, like the Jenkins job, you run a some simple command and you can go ahead and create a job. So which is fine. And also we can, uh, if whoever is good with shell scripting, so probably if they want to really go with the uh, Jenkins, um, jobs or creation of jenkins jobs so then this is a good good start okay because uh it's cli is a simple command line and so you can wrap it up by using the, a shell scripting and you can deal with shell scripting and you can write however the way you want to write the code so which can does the job by the way so we can do some sort of uh, xml rendering and you know kind of you can deal with the job but also it's a very lightweight so basically like to talk about a tool wise it's just gonna be a simple jar file provided from the jenkins even the jenkins web page itself like our our jenkins installed web page you can download that particular file and you can start using it so it doesn't really require any third party additional software which is really needed to run this particular one however so this creating with the jenkins cli is an imperative way again once again uh like 
you have to write a lot of code in order to deal with this that is and uh, that is a, another uh, that is an another important uh, problem that we can really consider about on the jenkins cli and also uh, when you actually goes with you know more of more of xml jobs uh, i mean more jobs i mean like more complex uh, not complex i would say like you know so more xml related configurations comes into picture then becomes it becomes a real challenge to maintain the xml templating okay or xml rendering uh, for each and every job so it requires uh, some sort of you know so some sort of different configurations it becomes a very big challenge in maintaining it okay so that's where is the major disadvantage which come into uh, jenkins cli and once again like jenkins job dsl or jenkins cli so these two would be targeted if your jobs are very simple jobs if you are having a multiple uh, complex configuration so then eventually these two uh, cannot be considered as a uh, must go option so alternatively we need to look in some other option so that's where the next tools comes into picture so one is uh, ansible so ansible is a very generic tool so if you are using inside your uh, uh, project ecosystem the ansible then this is a must go tool uh, for creating the jenkins jobs uh, because that the, i mean gen, uh, ansible is having a jenkins ansible module so using that particular module you can talk to the jenkins and you can create the jobs and so once ansible comes into picture it all becomes declarative so it makes the engineer to write the code in a very simple manner and along with that so also you are having a ansible is having a very rich templating language which is jinja2 and you can leverage jinja2 and you can deal with any sort of complex uh, xml requirements as well like your jobs is multiple complex as well so you kind of you know deal with jinja2 templating and it's like jinja2 templating even the conditions looping you know however the way you want so you can control that particular template file your xml file can convert as a template and does the job so that's that's the powerful thing of ansible uh, maybe it is a third party software so maybe you need to install that and you need to manage the ansible software but like as i mentioned so if jenkins is already part of your ecosystem uh, in your project ecosystem so then this never this never be a considered as a problem so it all has an advantages and overall like out of all the options like at least i would prefer for complex jobs especially to go with ansible because um, the templating is really a very good in ansible and coming to the last but not least option which is a terraform and of course like terraform is today's tool in any of the any of the projects by the way and however like if you uh, would like to think about you know so infra creation with terraform so the same way you can create the jenkins jobs also with the terraform terraform has a plugin uh, or a provider of jenkins and using that you can go ahead and uh, create the jenkins jobs and uh, so like terraform is again a dsl like they have their own hcl hashicorp language it's their own dsl and it's all declarative it even the makes the engineer to make the code much easier and of course like if it is already part of your ecosystem and however you try to deal with the resources of other resources you deal with jenkins as well and you can create the resources it's as simple as that and the terraform Templating is also good, but not at but not that powerful like Ansible, but still it can do a decent job as well. Uh, so um, we can still consider this one as uh, we can still consider this as uh, uh, a good option when you actually have a decent jobs. By the way, if you want to create, and maybe there's a spell mistake here. It's not a con; it's a pro once again. So Terra Terraform is very uh, has a very rich ecosystem like. Uh, it has a lot of providers and all and you know so when you think about your terraform dealing with all your infrastructure maybe jenkins and the jenkins jobs also you want to create with a you know terraform so then this is a very good option by the way to consider all right so and consider like as i already had the same con with the ansible like you know it's a third party software and if you think about managing it as a burden by the way but however it's a part of your ecosystem it never considered that as a a problem by the way so that are are icon by the way so that's what we need to understand now let's go and try to see some example like you know so i have had some examples here so let me just quickly go and uh, show you those particular uh, uh, examples and uh, uh, how to uh, 
are kind of you know so how to uh, write these kind of an examples let me just open my github page yep so here is the repository so i'll add this particular repository to my uh, to this particular video uh, description so you can go through them and so here we are creating multiple jobs there is a one and to start with so we're going to start with like the same way like we discussed by the way so jenkins dsl and so here is a simple ruby file which i have written and to create multiple jobs i'm taking the help of dsl but however i'm going to write um, i'm going to iterate it by the way just to keep the code dry and i just came up with a simple um, uh, a loop concept so by the way on the groovy and i'm just iterating on the loop and i'm just trying to create the uh, this one a job so this one uh, is basically like natively from the jenkins like as i mentioned so jenkins job dsl you can go to the dsl plugin and you can uh, create any of the uh, any of the job by the way so here we have taken a pipeline job which is a job and from here so you have a, all the options to be configured and so you can just use them like as i mentioned if any of the any of the job by the way so if some configuration is coming up as a part of your plugin installation then this becomes a challenge to manage because it has only the predefined options and having an extra options dealing with that is a big pain by the way so that is what it is but also i have given a simple example to go with the multi-branch pipeline for you for your reference so that's about jenkins dsl um, and however the next one is going to be is um, a Jenkins CLI so here I have written a simple shell script so which is going to iterate of creating multiple jobs so here are a bunch of jobs and I'm actually configuring that input in a kind of a CSV way comma separated inputs and what I'm trying to do is I'm again trying to iterate with a shell scripting I'm taking the XML file by the way I'm going to iterate the XML files uh, kind of deal with the template about this particular XML files and kind of managing them and kind of mod doing the modifications wherever it is needed and i'm trying to run the job so this is like as i mentioned uh, like whoever is good in the shell scripting can easily able to deal with this but however it becomes a bit complex uh, when you actually look uh, on the uh, i mean on the imperative side right so it becomes too much complex to manage the things so though it doesn't have too much things it's all just xml files and mul multiple bunch of lines is it's just XML, but looking wise, it doesn't really, or managing wise, it's not so easy, by the way. So it's, it's more of imperative. So that's where the next one, so which comes into picture is Ansible. So here, Ansible, I have written a simple playbook. And in the playbook, I'm having a bunch of inputs like, you know, so what are the pipeline jobs to be creating? And what are the multi branch pipelines to be creating? And we're just calling the role. And the role is going to have uh, uh, the uh, the task like what to do and uh, so here it's just going to create uh, multi-branch pipeline and uh, normal pipeline dot jobs as well and simply like here uh, we are going to have a templates and that particular templates you can iterate your uh, iterate or iterate using ansible loops by the way but however like you know templates wise these xml templating is much easier by the way i didn't wrote much complex things it's going it just was just like simple way uh, we are actually trying to pass the values but however, like even though you have a complex things uh, like Jinja 2 templating, you can easily manage those particular things. It's very easy to manage these particular things. So that's where Ansible becomes a, a very powerful way to deal with this particular uh, uh, Jenkins jobs creation. At, at least uh, personally, like I have seen like Jenkins uh, jobs creation with Ansible, which has a little bit complex and also XML filing and all or XML or jobs with with a complex configuration at least Ansible does the fair job over here and the last which is again a Terraform one so Terraform also it's it's going to be the same thing so it does the beautiful job again so I just giving some inputs by the way so multi-branch pipeline jobs pipeline jobs kind of passing the same inputs and I'm having a Jenkins jobs just trying to create a, a the Jenkins jobs with a simple resource and multi-branch pipelines as well as pipeline jobs with a simple resource we're kind of iterating it and we're actually taking the template by the way again the templating concept which is available in uh, template which is available in terraform and we kind of send the variables and uh, there we're actually trying to replace the variables inside over here so it's basically uh, we are uh, replacing those particular values yeah. so you kind of you know based on the requirements we can go ahead and change any of the configurations which we have somewhere over here as well 
All right, so that comes to uh, uh, just understanding the basic examples over here. So you can refer these uh, examples and maybe you can give a try if you are really, uh, you know, so thinking about uh, creation of the jobs with any of this particular approach. And that comes to the uh, purpose of this particular video. So I would like to just to show you uh, the multiple different ways of creating the Jenkins jobs. Like as I mentioned, it's not only the ways, there are a couple of other ways as well, so which I came up with these particular things because I have worked on these four options at, at most of my uh, experience, by the way. So, and once again, uh, that's all about in this particular video. Thank you once again. So thanks for uh, watching this particular video. Please like and subscribe. And, and once again, an advanced happy new year from my side. So, and I wish you a very a best of luck for each and every one. So which uh, for your future endeavors. Thank you once again and see you in the next video.